Australia's wildlife is known to be strange and deadly, with the headlines filled by venomous snakes and bird-eating spiders. But for some reason, the wombat's deadly butt has been ignored for way too long, and it is now time to talk about it. Wombats are very cute marsupials who can weigh up to 80 pounds, three times more than their closest relatives, koalas. They are amazing diggers and their burrows can be up to 100 feet long with multiple entrances. But we are here to talk about their most magnificent asset, their butts. Did you know that wombats make cube-shaped turds? Yes, wombat poo is cubic, and this particular shape is very important to their lifestyle. But first let's talk about how it can have such a unique shape. Wombat poo is not cubic because they have a square-shaped anus, but because of their diet and their very long and slow digestive system. They eat native grasses such as snowgrass, wallaby grass and kangaroo grass. It typically takes four to six days for the whole food to process, allowing the digestive tract to absorb the most nutrients and water from the food. But how and what exactly happens during this process is still somehow a mystery. However, it is assumed that a combination of lengthy digestion time, an exceptionally long gastrointestinal tract, and very dry waste matter, are the main contributors to producing block-shaped poo. Wombats crap out 80 to 100 of these a day. To put it in perspective, if humans would poo this often, we'd make 33 feet of poo a day. That's roughly double the height of an adult giraffe. But there is a crucial reason behind this tremendous amount of pooing and its cubic shape. Wombats stack their turds in different places to mark their territory and also attract potential mates. The unique shape makes it easier to stack them on top of each other, as well as it prevents them from falling off of non-flat areas such as rocks or logs. Their turd totems are basically a keep-out sign for other rival animals, or a dating profile. Their butt cheeks on the other hand, are a wonder on their own. They are composed of very strong bone plates which work as a protective shield. On top of that shield there is a layer of fat, skin and fur. When in danger of a predator, the wombat will dive into their burrow with their shield of a butt outside. This is because they don't feel any pain if they get bitten or scratched, as their butt contains very few nerves. But what happens when the predator is too stubborn to leave the wombat alone? They will have to deal with the world's deadliest butt. The wombat will flatten its body out, leave a gap between their back and the roof of the burrow. When the predator reaches inside that gap, the wombat will then drive its butt upwards, crushing the predator's skull against the roof of its burrow. Yes, the wombat can kill predators by twerking them to death. Thank you for watching and consider subscribing.